Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to The Hungry Fly, which is a horror game where you play a fly that must eat rotten meat. Quick note, this is from the same developer as The Repairing Mantis, and every game I've played, and that was a game where you built a bridge out of squirrel meat. Once upon a time, a fly was hungry. The fly wasn't hungry for no reason. In fact, the fly's existence had a purpose. It must eat the Dan, so nobody can ever find it. The fly went in search for a meal. Hey, how you doing? I'm a fly. Whoa, this is weird. So, um, after you're done with this video, I do recommend watching my playthrough or buying the game of the Repairing Mantis. That was a very unique game. You played a mantis. Um, like I said, you, uh, you built a bridge out of squirrel meat. So, I, I, I don't think there's any other game like that out there. Is this actually a swamp, or are we, like, on the back? I mean, it looks like there's plants. Yeah, okay. I was, like, being like, is this, like, on a body? You never know. And we, with Jerry still out, this is a weird game. Whoa, I think I got hit by a bubble. So we can't eat these. We're not a fruit fly. The fly spit. It couldn't handle the taste of the living. The fly needed something then. Really not seeing any, uh, any meat around here. Gotta find some meat, you know, lay some eggs. Oh look, we got something here, we got something. Hopefully a wasp isn't around, you know, I've, I've seen those wasps pick these dang things up. Well, they're really more of a hornet. I feel like that distinction is actually pretty important. Nice, nice, this looks pretty good. Field. Holy, look at the face. Those are cartoony eyes. And it talks. It's still alive. Oh. The fly looked at the insect as if it wanted to talk to it. Are you hurt? Asked the fly. Yes. I just lost my best friend, a lollipop. We were very close. Well, I thought we were. We were physically connected. Just here. But he cut itself apart from me. My cord is broken and I can't connect any friend to it. I'm stuck alone forever. Then the fly hugged the caterpillar. The fly asked for food. Um, I guess we'll be a friendly fly this time. The caterpillar dropped a tear. Thanks. Now I'm gonna eat. Excuse me. Can I eat this? Oh man, I can do this thing with my hands. If only that caterpillar would be bad. I could eat this marvelous flesh. Unfortunately, that wound doesn't seem lethal, thought the fly. Whoa, whoa. Dang, it's still alive. We're gonna have to leave you. Alright, I'm just going to go here and choose the other option real quick. Then the fly asked for food. I'm searching for a dead body. Do you think you will die soon? No, I can't die. I just keep changing form. From mud to caterpillar to butterfly to bike to whatever. So I can help you. Interesting. And the fly smiled at the caterpillar, and the caterpillar smiled back.
What's this? Is it a rock and a leaf? You know, I actually kind of like doing this. No wonder flies do this all the time. I feel it. Look. It feels good. It's great being a fly. How about you? Are you dead? Kind of hungry. Mm, that looks like a good wound right there. Mm. Hey, buddy. You still alive? The fly looked at the insect as if it wanted to talk to it. Are you hurt? That's the fly. Oh, I'm not talking to everyone, huh? The caterpillar sighed. The fly repeated. I said, are you hurt? Do I look hurt? Someone just broke my yo-yo. He just came by and hurt me for no reason. Now I can't even feel my leg. And I won't swing the yo-yo ever again. But then the fly show compassion. Don't worry, Caterpillar. You will find another yo-yo. You don't understand. My leg is broken. Even if I find another yo-yo, I can't hold it. Hmm. That's good and all, but let me check this wound out. If only that caterpillar would be dead, I could eat this marvelous flesh. Unfortunately, that wound doesn't seem lethal, thought the fly. Damn. So I'm going to do the ever dialogue here. And the fly asks for food. I'm searching for a dead body. You think you will die soon? Nothing dies here. You will starve forever. I guess the world is not fit for you. But we all have our problems. Now leave me alone. And the fly smiled at the caterpillar. And the caterpillar looked away. Is there gonna be like some kind of thing where like the fly drop picks up rocks and drops them? Like, if you won't end up dying naturally, I'll just have to like speed things up a bit. I'm gonna fly over here real quick. See with this. Okay, yeah, that's the fork. There's the other caterpillar. I'm not really sure if they're caterpillars, if they're like maggots. They're a little too colorful to be maggots, but. You know, you never know. Can't judge a insect by its cover. Whoa, I'm not sure if I want to talk to you. You look like some kind of bug eating plant. Come back to you later. Yes, that feels good. Any flesh around here? I need some flesh. Is anyone dead? Is this dirt or f no, that's dirt. Yeah, you can't go over the... Oh, I'm dirty! I'm dirty! I must clean! I feel like people are gonna clip that line. You know what people do with YouTubers. Whoa. The Vi looked at the plant as if it wanted to talk to it. Nothing is dead here. I can't eat anything, cried the fly. Oh, poor fly. You won't find anything dead in this world. Creatures don't die. The flesh only changes. It evolves by itself. In ways we can't predict. The only thing that leaves a corpse is time. 
things happen and it becomes a memory. A happy or a sad one. Memories are corpses. You can eat those. Give me some actual meat, not some metaphorical meat. I can show you where you can find memories. Get inside my mouth. You will find what you are searching for. That seems like a trap and you're just gonna eat me. Okay. Hold up. Clean. Yes, that feels good. Memories. Oh, man, I feel like I'm playing Mr. Mosquito. Memories. I'm not, I'm not really sure. It was, it was reacting to me. I mean, I, I, I know, I'm, I'm fly. Like, what do I do with a piece of paper? Memories. Oh, I eat? Wow, I really am eating things. The fly felt relieved. Yet he in the memory of a mysterious creature. But what could it be? Fascinated by its meal, the fly thought, Is that all there is? The plant probably knows where I could find more of these. Looks like memories. Meat. It's, it's this whole cereal box. So I'll, I'll tell you right now. So the they're pairing mantis. Yeah, you're playing a mantis that's like cutting off squirrels like wings and stuff and making a bridge to the sky. Okay. But it was a metaphorical, a very metaphorical game. This looks like this is gonna be... This is a demo, by the way. It's a preview build, anyway. I'm not sure if any of this could be in the final thing. It looks like it, the actual release is far off. Are you even gonna take down this demo after a few days? Because it's gonna be very different later. The fly felt relieved. The fly chewed slowly to taste it and understand what it was eating. The fly discovered that it was eating the memories of... A monster. The taste made the fly want for more. And more. Mmm. Can I talk to you, actually? Keep your mouth open like you're a... If I looked at the plant lanes, I want to talk to it. Then the fly asked, is that all? I need more. Were you blind? There was more, much more. You have only eaten a part of the memory. Get back inside me, fly, and find what's left to eat. Hold up, clean. Alright, let's eat this drawing, then. Apparently this is sustenance. Indie horror devs are wild, aren't they? Like, for, for every, like, kind of clone horror game, like, there's just wild stuff out there. The fly felt relieved. It found the perfect meal. Every bite of memory made the fly want to learn more about the monster and make it disappear. It kept hunting. Ooh, a spider web. I'm somehow tempted to fly into it. 
that's it has no effect. We got memory. Yeah, ignore ignore the banana. Can I go in the toaster? No. Banana. The fly could not handle the smell of it. But sometimes it was sniffing things out of curiosity. Then I can't handle the smell of bananas. I mean, it's probably like little hidden dialogues here and there. Was this a crayon? It meet now. The fly felt relieved. As it was eating, it became obsessed by the monster. Can I... Let me go back to one of these webs. God, God, I can't talk to the web. Okay. Skitter, 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 skitter. I'm gonna meet down here. Your phone has an eyeball, by the way. Clean, clean, clean. Got some. A picture book. Oh, good eating. The fly felt relieved. As it was eating, its hunger grew. It wanted to eat all its memories. It wanted to eat all the traces of its life and its body. So nobody ever knew the monster and ever existed. He was hungry that much. So what's your guess? What do you think? No, there's more webs. The webs are... Right? There wasn't as many webs before, were there? Maybe, maybe I just never noticed. Maybe I'm gonna fly. Ah, I, I get, I get what's going down. Um, so here's another thing. So if we go by the, um, Repairing Mantis. Escape Repairly has been developed for a while, by the way. I was looking at the description. Um, Repairing Mantis was actually a fairly long game. It was, like, up to a couple hours. I'm curious how long the, uh, full version of this is gonna be. Hmm, more crayons. Nice! The fly felt relieved. Relieved to know that one more memory of the monster disappeared. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, the world's changing. Notice the place was looking more and more abandoned. And I have to clean myself every time. It's, um... It, it's someone destroying their own memories. Like, it's, you know, it's not literally a fly eating the memories, right? What's this? More and more webs and more dust, everything looking more and destroyed. Like, we eat the memories, everything's just kind of getting abandoned. Mmm, what are these? More, more crayons, I see. Um, the, all these things seem in particular for a child, too, by the way. Like, cereal box, crayons, drawing on the fridge. The fly felt relieved, knowing there wasn't much left of the memory. Mm, memories. Clean. You think it clean? Yes.
The fly felt relieved. The fly had eaten so much that it was starting to merge with the monster. It could remember the monster's memories. It could feel the monster's feelings. It could hear its call. There's a door over there. Is it like crack? Can we like go past it or get her scare scare scare? Where am I? I can't tell my fly. It's slightly cracked, but I don't think we're very able to go inside. Lean! Lean! What? Foolish fly. You don't know what you're doing. Eating this memory will change the world. And I warn you, there is no turning back. But I am really hungry, shouted the fly. Flies are all the same. It's useless to warn you. Then just go. Be a fly. Yes. The fly's tail was in the beginning, but sadly the demo was over. So at that point, the fly could only... Wishlist the game! So, that's it for the Hungry Fly demo. Once again, this is a very recently released demo. I think it came out like today or yesterday or something like that. It's part of, um... Steam always does like these little demo fests, and the demos are gone after so many days. So if you want to try the demo, maybe you think you can find some secrets or something. Uh, you know, check out the link in the description. And if you want to check the developer's previous game, The Repairing Mantis, um, I have a playthrough on my channel. It'll be in the post screen there, the little, like, the little end buttons you can click. Or my pinned comment. Or, you know, just search up on Steam. You can check out your game yourself. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, The Hungry Fight looks pretty good. Yeah, I get him getting the similar vibe to The Repairing Mantis. So far, not as sad. The Repairing Mantis is a very sad game. But then again, The Hungry Fly is just a demo. After Praying Mantis was like a two hour long game. Um, and so we're, we're just touching the iceberg, right? And I have a feeling it's gonna be different locations. Like this one was like the kitchen, and it's gonna go through like different areas or things. And um, the fly is probably representative of the person. It, it looks like it has someone wants something of doing getting rid of memories or getting rid of things, very specific things. Um, and there's some weird, weird links to the caterpillars and stuff like that. I don't want to comment too much on the story, um, because we're, we don't have enough to really work with yet. But it's interesting. It's a very, very interesting horror game. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play the Hungry Fly demo. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.